Hello everyone, this is me Sabia here and I'm back with the monthly read for the month of July 2024. This reading is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, let's see what's coming through for you in the month of July 2024. Just be mindful, it's a general reading. Hit when it will not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates or leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what's coming through for you, Sagittarius. We do have the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups. It seems like, you know, somebody is going to approach you with a loving offer. Uh, this person can be somebody who is living at a distance from you. This person can be somebody who could be a traveler coming in your country, city, state. Uh, this person can be somebody who you have not known by now. This person is completely a new person, somebody who's who you're gonna meet through travel, maybe. Maybe you're traveling, maybe you're, this person is traveling, and that's how this person and you are gonna come together. I really feel like you know this person can be somebody from the past as well, but this person is somebody who is living at a distance. Even if they are from your country, your city, your state, but they might be from a different place, like as in they are living at a different country or city right now. Um, let's see more cards here. This person can be somebody that you're going to connect online as well for some of you. Because there is travel, there is distance, there is like overseas scenario for some of you. So yeah, I really feel like, you know, this is somebody new um, who probably wants to connect to you. Um, this person is somebody who has other options, other offers but they are considering you. Now, for some of you, I really feel like, you know, this person is definitely wanting to take action towards you, but they are not taking action um, as of now. But in the month of uh, July, they will definitely put the guards down and take action towards you. Now, the reason why this person is not taking action towards you could be their, um, their self-esteem, could be their ego, could be their, um, they're scared. How are you going to respond to that? Um, this person can be so, you know, somebody who you are socially connected with on social media apps. Um, this person can be somebody to, that you have once met, but you never had a relation, really, a relationship with this person. This person can be somebody who, um, I really see, yes, this person is living at a distance. Um, this person can be somebody that you must, you might have connected once or twice in, in your life, but you, you really don't know this person on a, on a deeper level, on a personal level. You might have met them through your work, through your, through your studies, through your, you know, a place where you go on a regular basis, but they and you are not in touch. And I really feel like, you know, this person is going to feel inclined to take action towards you. This person right now is definitely aware of you. What you are doing, what is going on in your life, this person is aware of it. So they might be like in your in your social media apps as a, with a fake ID for some of you. Because this person has been thinking a lot about taking action towards you, but they haven't taken action towards you. Um... This person can be somebody from the past, somebody you might have blocked or they have blocked you. There is a big chance that this is somebody from the past or the distance between the two of you is a block, which is the reason why they are not reaching out. Um, but I really see this person reaching out to you in the month of July. They and you are going to talk and communicate. Um, I really don't think that um, you're expecting this person to reach out. Uh, they might have blocked you. If they have blocked you, they are going to unblock and talk to you in the month of July. The message is going to come as a surprise for majority of you. Let's see what else is happening here in the month of July for you. But this person and you are not living in the same city or country right now. This person is going to talk to you, communicate to you with online communication. Um... Let's see what else is coming through for you. Mirror. This person can be somebody who is your twin flame, somebody who's mirroring you right now. This person can be somebody who's uh, who you broke up with. They broke up with you. Um, this person is somebody who was... Um, who is not showing their true colors or, or their true face or their true intentions before. You took a chance on them with them earlier, but now you don't want to take chance on them. 
until unless they they tell you what they want with you i really feel like you know this person is somebody who who would feel like a gamble for you because the way they are coming in and the way they are going to be like you know um they are choosing a sneaky way to reach out to you is what i see here but whatever the case is going to be I really feel like you know you will not be taking chance with this person until unless they reveal their true side. Your intuition around this person is going to be very heightened, so they will not be able to cheat on you or something like that, or try to hide something from you. But this person reaching out to you is going to be more like a sudden shock or change or surprise. Um, but they would want to go um and date with you. I really feel like you know for some of you, if this is a new person, um. You wouldn't want to take chance on this person either, like, you know, even if it's a new person, because you would want to be sure of who you are meeting, who you are dating. Um, maybe right now you're still trying to heal yourself from a past scenario. Um, and that's why it's hard for you to trust anyone. But your intuition is going to be very much on point to listen to that during the month of July. So you don't make any hasty decision or wrong decision. But I really feel like, you know, this person is, again, we do have a date online. So I really feel like, you know, you are going to meet this person, talk to this person on social media apps. And um, this person would want you to give them a chance. And if and when the two of you talk, they might plan a date with you face to face as well. So they might travel to see you for some of you. So the month of July is going to be very significant because I really see this person and you meeting up in the month of July. Let's see what else is happening here, Sagittarius. But I really feel like you know, somebody is interested in you. This can be somebody new. Even if it's somebody from the past returning, they want a new chance with you. You are very close to achieving your goal. You have no clue. But I really feel like you know, your love life is going to um, um, transform. I really see you giving a chance to this person eventually. And uh, you will be valued by this person. The tables will be turned. You will be valued. They will be like, you know, the chaser and you will be the runner, basically, is what I see here. So let's see some more cards here. What else is happening in the month of July? What's coming through? Wow. We do have the twin flame card. I already told you that. I, I could sense that this energy is a twin flame energy. The person is your mirror soul. This is why this connection feels so sacred to you. Again, for some of you, you already know this person. The two of you parted ways because of this person's attitude. Maybe they were not revealing their true side. Now they have understood it. Now they want to express their feelings to you. Now they want a new start with you. But they are the one. You have already met the romantic partner you seek. So I feel like, you know, this is somebody from the past returning back in your life. Um, whether you want it, whether you don't. But yes, they are returning back. Your twin flame is coming in and they will want to date you. Now, I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, uh, the month of July is going to be very, you know, there's going to be a lot happening in the month of July for you because uh, this person is going to be trying to reach out to you online and you will see how quickly things will transform. We do have the next card, which is the ruby color, which is going to be significant for you in the month of July. Eight number could be, again, significant here. Maybe 8th of July could be significant for some of you. Um... It's time for you to rejuvenate your body. Make sure that you're taking good care of your body as well. And uh, I really feel like, you know, this shade of red is going to be very significant. You can also wear a ruby stone to attract more abundance in your life. But yeah, that's what I see coming through for you in the month of July. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe till I do the next read. Take care. Bye.